but yeah, so here it is. What I did is I just took a PVC pipe. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Okay, so before I actually let the video play, because I already recorded it like a little while ago, um, I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing to this gun, uh, how I ended up setting it up. <sighs> so, I turned the gray one into a DMR. So essentially, I can put a much longer barrel in it. So I think what I'm actually going to do, instead of what I said in the video, which you're about to see, uh, is I'm actually going to upgrade the hell out of this one and make this one into a, a sniper kind of thing. Here, I'll quick flip this around so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, so here it is. What I did is I just took a PVC pipe, and I turned it into a little mock suppressor there, and I just uh, I just used the, I used electrical tape. Basically, I wrapped it around the muzzle brake that was on there, and uh, just to make it so it fits snug. And it's super tight on there. You can see I can manipulate it or try to manipulate it. It's not going anywhere. Um, then I put this Evike bipod, Evike brand EMG real steel bipod on there and that just clipped on there perfectly and it holds the uh, holds the battery compartment rail piece right here like really really tight on here so it's not going anywhere. I put a, a piece of a rail, I actually cut this so it would fit this, a piece of a rail cover on here. It gives it a little bit more a nice feel, a nicer feel I guess. For the mag I actually took the original black mag like that out and I put in a, like a Vietnam style short stubby mag and then I put on a 4 to 16 power by 50 millimeter scope and uh, oh, that's just retracted back so the eye relief from the scope fits better with it so that's what I ended up doing and uh I really 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 like it also here is the white one I actually ended up putting this scope on the white one and I still really really like this I think yeah that's a fucking toss up man both these guns are awesome so, uh, anywho, I won't hold you guys any longer. Enjoy the video. I know the lighting was kind of messed up, but regardless, enjoy. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Xavier Sturzel here today with another video, kind of similar to my last one, <laughs> uh, about the CSI. <clears throat> the CSI XR5, which was my last unboxing video. So, uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update, and I wanted to show you guys... The one that just came in today. So in my last video, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna quick hop right into it. <laughs> All right, anyway, so in my last video, um, I told you guys that well, I had mentioned that I actually got two of the XR5s. I'm sorry, the my lights on, so it looks weird. Anyway, <laughs> I actually got two of the XR5s. I pre-ordered one of each, actually, uh, one of each of the different body styles. So I ordered the the smaller one slightly, not really much smaller. Uh, in white, in trooper white, and it's got different, like some layouts are different. And I ordered the the battle rifle looking one, the more like you know DMR looking one, in the gray. And that's that's this one right here, uh, which I am actually a huge fan of. So I'll I'll show you guys like the difference. And I actually I have the box right here for the new one. I literally I took it out at my mom's house to show my brother, uh, but other than that, it's still in the box. So I'll show you guys that in, in just a second here. Uh, but I'll compare the they'll compare the two, show you guys what's different, and uh, just go into a little bit more detail. This is not a typical unboxing video. I already kind of covered a lot about this gun in the last video, but I want to uh, fresh up, uh, brush up on some things, and tell you guys some other things that I was actually wrong about. And I'll show you guys a quick shooting test so you guys can hear how this thing sounds because it is awesome. All right, so here I'll let you guys see the box. All right, so that's my mail. Hopefully you guys didn't see the address. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So this here is the CSI XR5. And I was actually wrong about this gun. When I said that this gun was by Matrix, I was actually incorrect. This gun is actually... Well, the reason I, I even said it was by Matrix, guys, is because Evike has it listed. They have it listed under SRC, and they have the thing slightly different saying it's also like Matrix under the little tab part there, but it actually has nothing to do with Matrix. This gun is made by an actual company called CSI, and CSI has made 90% of everything. I think they outsource some parts for the gearbox. Elsewhere, I'm not absolutely sure, but everything is actually CSI. It's made by a very small company based out of Taiwan. It's made in Taiwan, uh, which is better than China, <laughs> um, called CSI. And this is their first gun. This is the love child of... Uh, 
I, I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not sure if he wants me to. Uh, this is basically his his love his brainchild, right? So his uh, his baby essentially. Uh, he came up with this. You know, he worked with the design team, and they came up with a gun that they they thought would be cost effective, made mostly out of polymer, and new to the market. And they've done a phenomenal job. Uh, this again is my other one. And again, this gun is made by CSI, not by Matrix, not by SRC, CSI. It's a very small company and a very new company. And the reason, the way I was corrected about that, uh, which Evike actually needs to correct now, um, is the, the owner of the company himself uh, reached out to me to tell me, uh, not just that, but also he featured my video on their website, so or their Facebook page. So I was super, super stoked about that. And it's just called CSI Airsoft, facebook.com. Uh, forward slash or backslash CSI Airsoft. Uh, but yeah, they featured me on their page and I was super, super stoked about that. Um, I guess my unboxing actually was the first unboxing in the United States. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's by CSI, not by Matrix. I wanted to clarify that. Okay, so back to the gun now. Oh, yeah, that's kinda, there we go. All right, so here's the box again, guys. I'm gonna take this top part off. Plus that over there. And then now we're to the gun. So I'm going to flip this over so you guys can see it. Uh, and again, it comes with this nice, you know, this nice uh, pamphlet here. So you, or basically instructional diagram of uh, how to disassemble this thing. Disassembly on this gun is, is kind of, you know, it's kind of meh. Uh, but it's still doable. I mean, if I'm saying, saying like fully ripping this gun apart, it's a little bit pain in the ass. But getting to the battery compartment is super easy. Getting your mortar, your gearbox is easy enough. Okay, I'm going to get this thing out of the box. Throw the styrofoam over there. And now we are left with the CSI XR5. Now, I'm gonna show you what is different on this gun to the one I already have. Okay, so, here's the CQB, uh, you know, variant. It's really not any smaller than the other one, but it is, you know, it, it has that CQB look to it. So the difference here, if you look, is on the, uh, the bottom of the handguard. So this, the, this carbine, you know, in quotations, uh, version of the CSI has a ergonomic, you know, basically a rubberized uh, handguard section on the top, on the bottom of it, uh, basically underneath your battery compartment. And on this version, it's basically a rail all the way down. If I had to, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, uh, this version is, is better. It feels better I and mean, you can't really put a grip on this gun anyways. This is kind of just to put a grenade launcher. But uh, uh, this is, has a little bit of flex in it, and unless you have your lipo brick in there, you can feel that teeny bit of flex, which is kind of frustrating to me. It's not bad. And again, when I, when I say it's not bad, it is not bad at all. But when after uh, holding this one at my mom's house for a little bit, I will tell you that this one feels a, a bit more solid. Uh, there's no flex in this front end at all, which I actually prefer. Um, the mag fits a little bit better into this one. I think it's because there's a little bit more rigidity to the mechanism back here. Um, also, another difference, beyond just the handguard, if you look at the front ends here, uh, this one has like a little extension, it looks almost like a spaceship uh, coming off the front end there, uh, right behind the muzzle brake, or flash hide, or whatever you want to call it, where this one is open bail, so it's basically, you just got your, your muzzle brake right there. A little bit of a different look, it makes this one look more like a, more like again, like a battle rifle, and less like a future CQB gun. Um, other difference, the other difference is here in the stock. It's pretty blatantly obvious what the difference is. Personally, I kind of like the battle rifle stock a teeny smidge bit better, uh, but the polymer on this, again, is still just, it's phenomenal, it feels solid. Um, this this one, just like the other one, retracts. I believe it's a six mission, so I'm all the way back now. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five position retractable stock. Um, now your battery compartment on these things is awesome. I love the way that they put the battery compartment. So you have your little rail segment here. And at first I thought this was going to be a drawback, uh, but this rail segment slides up. It's pretty pretty stiff to push up, and then it locks up top here. And that frees up, you'll see where that, that kind of hooks on there, those tabs. So once you do that, you can pull this down. It takes a little bit of force. It's easier if you take the mag out, uh, but then you can pull this down. So there is your battery compartment on this gun. So if you see the size of the gun here, this gun is huge. This here is a, I believe it's a 1200 or 1600 MAH brick. LiPo 11.1 volt brick. It doesn't quite fit in there just because it's a smidge too wide, but uh, it, again, just a smidge, just a hair uh, more narrow and it would fit in there just fine. Uh, and again, the reason it doesn't fit is if you look at the width there, it's just, it's a smidge too wide. 
Uh, I, I don't know the exact measurements on here on this gun to get this battery to fit, but uh, I guarantee you that it will fit at any stick type you want. Any little fact will fit like those three cell uh, stick types as well. Just fine. Again, this battery compartment is insanely long. It is very well thought out and uh, well designed. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to an 11.1 volt battery. I know I shouldn't do it to a bone stock gun, but I want you guys to hear how this thing sounds. This is hooked up to an 11.1 volt lipo. It really shouldn't be, but it is. Uh, I'm not sure if this gun is considered lipo ready or not, but so you can just uh, you can hear the trigger response. See that? There's not a whole lot of whine there. Uh, and this this I believe it's I don't even know if it's a fully charged 11.1 volt. It's, it's been sitting around for a while. The battery has been sitting out for a bit, so I don't even think it's fully charged. But again, you can hear this. So here's the pull. So for stock gun, it's very impressive. Then here's full auto. Full auto is good. It's not greatest, but it is still great. The full auto, you can kind of hear the motor a little bit, but with the uh, but with the uh, the thickness of the polymer on this, you're not really hearing a whole lot of a whole lot of motor whine. You're hearing a little bit, little teeny tiny bit on full auto there, and I think that's just because the the motor in this gun is not meant to take an 11.1 volt lipo. I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, me personally, I'm going to tear this thing open and put some awesome internals in this. Uh, the, the gearbox shell on this is great. The hop system is great. Uh, the way everything works in here is great. It's just, uh, you know, I like, it, I like it to be fast, you know. So I'm going to slide this battery out of here now. And to put this back, you know, all you do is go up. Like basically it's like a giant mouth, right? You go up and then you're going to slide this back on here. A little stiff again, like I said, that's so there's some friction. Uh, so you don't just slide it on and off while you're on the field. So if you look, that is not going anywhere. I'm a big guy, I'm trying to manipulate this off. It's not gonna come off unless I were to sit here and tear with all my strength, which would be stupid. If I did that to any gun, I could break it. So besides like the ENL, <laughs> uh, especially the polymer gun. So go ahead and put this back in. Okay, so now we're back to just the CSI. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a sight on here because I want to. Cool. Okay. That doesn't really match this gun because the sight's kind of now and this gun's pretty futuristic. But uh, it does It does still look cool. Um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a gun I would pick up, guys. I mean, for $80, I did the math. It's like just right around 80 bucks with the 25% off that they have right now. It starts at 108 without any discount, but again, it is eligible for a discount. So I would highly recommend picking one up. I think it'll be interesting to see more stuff like this in the field. I really, really want to support this company. Because bringing new things to Airsoft, you know, future stuff like this, and at a price point that most people can actually afford is awesome. Great for cosplay, you know, stuff like that. So again, I would highly, highly, highly re recommend picking one up. It's so cheap. It's a great addition to any collection. And, uh, you know, my only, my only gripe <laughs> on everyone grabbing these is that once everyone has them, they're not really as special anymore. But then that opens up the market again for a company like CSI or CSI themselves to launch further, you know, uh, future guns or one-offs or stuff like that, you know? All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I just really wanted to quick uh, let you guys know a couple things real fast. As you can see, it's actually the next day um, about this uh, CSI, both of them, actually. Um, I don't want you guys to think that I was, like, trying to really, really sell you this gun. I'm not. Uh, I just like to give my genuine, honest opinion about all the guns that I've played with. And uh, honestly for the price i truly truly believe there is nothing better on the market and if any of you any of you can contest that seriously uh send me the link to whatever gun you think is better around the 80 dollar price point and i will buy it and compare the two i actually want to compare these guns to something else on the market uh, around that price range i really 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 want to find the best budget gun so please 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 if you guys have any suggestions do let me know. I am genuinely curious to see if there is anything better. I just know that of the guns that I have personally used, I honestly don't think there is. Um, between these two, again, I really, really like both of them. I think this one has a, a more interesting look. It looks almost like a, like they were going for a sniper. I think this would be really cool as a sniper, uh, like a sniper variant. Maybe I'll put a giant scope and a barrel extension on there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, this one, I actually do like this one a tidge bit more, and it's really just because of this handguard. Uh, both of them are great. This is actually a really nice rail piece underneath here, too. They they really did a good job at reinforcing this rail. Uh, they did a good job. I do like that, but personally, I kind of like the whole uh, 
the way that this is ergonomic, the way this art arches right here, I really, really, really like that. Uh, and that's kind of made me appreciate this kind of handguard a little bit more. I also like this front end a little bit more. It's a little bit uh, more futuristic in my opinion, but you know, to each their own. <sighs> Again, these are both phenomenal guns. I highly recommend them. Uh, this one, or yeah, the gray one already sold out on Evike, and uh, I don't know, I think there's another shipment coming in later this month, but uh, these things are selling like hotcakes, so if you have the opportunity, pick one up. Uh, again, I really, really, really want to support this company, because I want to see more stuff, crazy stuff like this. If they could do like a sniper variant, like a giant, giant sniper, like a full-blown, like future sniper, oh my god, I'd be in love. Not, not a bolt action, I mean semi-auto, but something crazy, you know? I would be in love with it. So I really want to see this company grow, guys. So support them. Pick up one of these guns. It's a good purchase. And uh, this will be the first gun I am going to review. I'm going to try and figure out a review layout. Uh, and, and hopefully I should have that up in the next couple weeks here. And uh, my reviews are completely going to be unbiased. So if I find any flaws in these things, I will be honest uh, about it. And that goes for all my reviews, all my everything on this channel. I am unbiased. I'm not sponsored. So I'm going to tell you like it is. Uh, so I will, again, that should be up in the next couple weeks here. I apologize for my crappy editing, guys. I'm, again, I'm new to editing, so bear with me here. Uh, thanks for, thanks for watching my video. Uh, subscribe, like, comment below. You know, again, let me know if there's anything you want to see compared to this. I really, really want to see if there's something better, because if there is, I'm going to tell you to buy that instead. <laughs> I, again, I just personally, of the hundreds of guns that I've played with, literally hundreds, there is nothing I've played with for this price point that's better. So to wrap it up, uh, thanks for watching my video. Comment below again to see or to tell me if you guys know of any gun that's better than these. I really, really want to find a gun I can actually compare these to. Uh, this one I'm going to upgrade the piss out of. I'm going to do a whole video series on upgrading this and uh, everything about it, disassembly, um, what the parts I'm putting in. I'm basically going to try to make this into like a star shooter, <laughs> literally star. Uh, this one I'm going to review as a bone stock, um, just again so I can compare it to other guns around its price point and give you guys salt my solid my solid genuine opinion uh, on these rifles you so again comment that below uh like uh subscribe i gotta do the whole youtube spiel <laughs> and uh share the crap out of this video i really want to see it's like more people i want really want more people to see this gun i really want to see this company grow uh so thanks again for watching guys have a good day